Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room. Today I am very excited to be a part of a collaboration with 11 other YouTube quilters. And it is my turn to show you what I did with the ugly fabric. I'm using air quotes because some of this fabric to me wasn't ugly. Actually, the majority of it wasn't ugly. So I'm beginning to question my sense of um, style, but no, 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 I'm not going to let that happen. I think that you will find that these aren't ugly as much as they're very hard to put together in one quilt. So that was the challenge. Let me show you the fabrics and then I'll show you what I did with them. Pretty, cute, cute, not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite, but it is funny. Definitely, definitely not my favorite. I already had two yards of this when I received it. Ugly, okay, cute, interesting. Yeah, that's what I have to work with. Let's get into exactly what it is I did with these fabrics to make my quilt. I'm not even gonna lie. Someone in one of our collaboration meetings mentioned stockings. You know who you are and I thank you so much. And I ran with it. Now, rules. You have to use all 12 of these fabrics and they have to be visible in your project. There was a certain size that it had to be. I don't remember what the size was, but I knew that I was gonna make mine bigger anyway. And you could have two blender fabrics. You could use as much as you wanted and you could embellish all that you wanted. Backing and binding were whatever you wanted. So, for one of my blender fabrics, I chose a basic gray grunge. It, it's a cohesive blender. And I asked about the rules for the blender fabrics and I was told, well, there aren't any. So, well, you all know what I love to use to make quilts. And this is my other blender fabric. You're going to be shocked. It's a panel. I couldn't resist. I am going to cut stockings out of all of my fat quarter fabric and use the rest of what's left of my fat quarters after I cut out my stockings to make more borders. So I am going to let my Cricut cut my stockings while I work on other parts of my project. Now I'm going to actually put them upside down so that I can make sure that I get 12 inches. I can't have more than 12 inches because my mat won't like the overflow and it'll get all caught in the machine and life will not be good. Now, the machine is hooked up to a computer and the blinking light is on so it is ready to load the mat. And once my Cricut light lights up, I can push it. So you can see all the parts of my stocking were cut out. And I still have fabric left over. So here you can see I've switched the snowmen and the sharks. So in order to get these pieces to stick, Elmer's glue. This is a washable glue, so when I wash it, the glue will come out. And by the time I wash this, I will have already stitched it down. I was thinking I needed to make blocks, but I'm using the same fabric, so there's no need to make blocks. So the next step is to add our borders. I have cut 
a strip that's 12 and a half inches by width of fabric. And now let's take it to the design wall so we can see what we're gonna do next. So you can see I have added the one and a half inch strip of the blender fabric. And then I cut strips of what I had left over from my fat quarters to go around the outside of that border because my next border is going to again be the blender fabric. Remember the rule, I can only have two blenders and this is one of them. So everything else has to be this or the ugly fat quarters. And then I've placed on this border, it will take two of these strips joined together. So I sewed that, of course there's a lot left over and then I just kind of put my stockings up on the wall. Now, did I mean to cut them all facing the same way? No, I did not. But guess what? That's what I did. Well, except for one. I have one that doesn't. What I can do is I can just make them go all different ways because, you know, because we can. I'm going to add all the borders and then I will come back and we will figure out using the design wall exactly where everything has to go and we can Elmer's glue them on. Here you can see everything is on the design wall. I've actually used Elmer's glue to stick the stockings on the side and oh my gosh she just ate thread. Now what I'm going to do is raw edge applique where I'm going to sew just about a quarter inch inside the fabric. And I'll go around here and then I'll go around the little tip of the sock and then all the way here around the tip and the inside of the heel up around. I will be overlapping stitches, but what it will do is it will fray on the outside once I wash it. So it'll give it kind of a grunge look to go with the grunge fabric in the background. My quilt top is complete. I took the panel, I put borders around it, I've appliqued the stockings on, and I put pieces of the ugly fat quarters on the top and the bottom. And normally, this would be the end of my video, but you will have the opportunity to win this quilt that is completed. So, in order for you to win it and it to be complete, I need to complete it. Let me show you what backing I'm going to use. For my backing, I have chosen Christmas trees. Let me bring it up a little closer. And I just like the way that it blends with this quilt. Oh, by the way, my secret word is chocolate. Shocking, I know. So on the 12th of December, after Tucker's video has aired, you will be able to go to a link that I will put in the description below this video and enter to win my quilt. You can also go to the other channels. They will have links to their giveaways and you can enter into all 12 contests to win the quilts that we've made. Again, chocolate, write it down, don't forget it. My quilt is done. I put the binding on as you can see, the backing is on and it has been quilted. Tell me what you all think. Now, don't forget, this is part of a group of YouTube quilters that got together. Today, 
I revealed my quilt tomorrow make sure that you tune in at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to sew Becca's channel and see her big quilt reveal and gather the words from all 12 videos and then you can go to each individual YouTube channel video and a link will be added on the 12th of December so that you can enter to win everybody's quilt. But you have to know all 12 words. My word once again is, mm, yeah, you can rewind and find it. But again, so Becca tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. This has been just, I can't even express how much fun this has been taking fabric that I didn't know what I was going to do with and coming up with something fun. Hopefully you can use this idea for one of your panels and you don't have to use ugly fabric. Have a great day, eat some chocolate and be kind to everyone. Merry Quiltmas. Bye. This is my video for the Christmas Quiltmas. I can't remember the name of it. Oliver decided to help me. Yeah, hey sweet kitty. Hey sweet kitty. Actually, he's mad because it's late and I won't let him back out. Okay. Mm -hmm. What'd you do with my rotary cutter? There it is. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna make it impossible for me to cut. Don't you dare reach for that.